Hello, hello, hello. A bard's tale. Sure, this is quite old. Well, I say old, but you know, it's not necessarily remastered. Well, remastered. <laughs> I just said remastered. Retro is what I meant to say, but remastered popped up in front of my eyeballs. So I said that instead. Maybe it is retro. I don't know. What is retro these days anyway? Options. Sound options. Master volume, SFX, dialogue volume, ambient volume. Is that ambient volume is music? better uh stop oh hang on hang on flip camera rotation i'm gonna say yes to that i'm assuming that's what i think it is start new game you'd like to hear a new story oh very well where shall we begin at the beginning generate your character difficulty normal easy Ah, oh, see, this old school, easy, so you get, yeah, we'll just fucking do that. Uh, available 12. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Yeah, there we are. We'll just put everything to 10. Okay. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Choose a talent. Treasure hunter. The bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target. Used with a ranged skill. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. I... Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. I don't know how I'm supposed to choose all these, having not played the game, because I don't know which one of these is going to be better for me shield bash two-handed weapons dual wield allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other the fuck is a dirk gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies inflicting additional damage yeah we'll just go with that then it had come to this at last one man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law. Come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. A 
drunken lots. Get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? Say, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and, uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. What the fuck is this? Okay. Press X to listen to the drunks. Next. Uh huh. Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. Okay. Right, so is this where we're off then, is it? Oh my god, okay. Press X to save game, thank you. So there's not rats in the cellar, there's rats in a tunnel through a broken wall of the cellar. What the fuck is going on now? Right. Right, so A is slash. Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? Ah! Ah! The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Okay. Nicely done, or is that well done? <laughs> Not well done, more like medium rare. 
<laughs> now we'll have another go at him with this. Really? You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Honest to God. All right. Press X to save game. Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie. Don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? <clears throat> I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend button. What? Well, what are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Block is B. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boy -o. You'll notice that instead of holding down the button, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the Summon Menu button. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Is this humour? Right, right button. You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. To be then X. That was useful at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control, but they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command buttons. For example, press the aggressive button to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Command summons to attack. Charge! Ah. You're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? You can experiment with different uses of the command buttons to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Mm. Okay. So press right button, B, X. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. Uh.
Okay, I fucked that up. Right, try again. B. Oh. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who's bravely made the cellar... How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay? Right. Go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it. I don't understand what X or B means. Okay, let's press X. Oh no, the rat is the gutless one, for I spilt his about your cellar. I'd be only too happy to haul him up here for you to see. In fact, it might actually improve the ambiance of this place. No need. The stench you bring with you will be proof enough. Well, maybe there's more to you than meets the eye. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. The next morning. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humour. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. Yeah, I'm done. This is shit. Ta-da. <laughs> 